you'll often notice when you're in the presence of a narcissist or when you're going to work where you're working with a narcissist or when you're coming home to a narcissist, you just feel off. You can't quite put your finger on what, but you just feel off within yourself. And this is your body giving you subtle cues that you are in the presence of somebody who is bad for your mental health, bad for your emotional health and your psychological health. And one of the first of these cues is that feeling of uneasiness when you just feel on edge without actually knowing why you feel on edge when you've just got that sense of dread of walking through the door, but you're particularly not, not particularly sure on why you've got those feelings of anxiety coming in. And sometimes it's not that you're struggling with anxiety, it's that you're struggling with being around a narcissistic person that's causing that anxiety within you and once you step away from them those symptoms of anxiety begin to ease so long as you've not been around them that that for that long that it's become a memory and a go-to method for you you can have that sort of tightness in your chest you can just have that pain in your tummy, an uncomfortable stomach, you can go to sleep and you can just end up with stomach aches and you're not quite sure why, you think you've got some other form of illness and it's always wise to get checked out just in case you do have some other underlying health condition. However, when you're around a narcissist, your, your tummy can just go into those knots and you can get that tightness in your chest. You can have that increased heart rate and that shallow breathing as your adrenaline is trying to kick in to protect you from around this person. You often find when you're around a narcissist, you cannot be yourself. You begin to walk on eggshells around them. You begin to be careful of the things that you say and the things that you do. And you begin to ruminate and overanalyze every interaction before the interaction as well as after because if you tell them something, it could be wrong. If you don't tell them something, it could be wrong. If you tell them in this way, it could be wrong. If you tell them, it, you are kind of in that no-win situation. When you feel like you're in a no-win situation with somebody constantly, there's a good chance you're around a narcissistic individual. When you find it difficult to express and speak up for yourself. Now, we can all have things where we might not want to say something just in case it offends somebody, even though it's not actually meant in an offensive way way. However, when you are around those that you are close to, when you are around your parents, your siblings, your best friend, your partner, you should be able to express your thoughts and feelings and opinions without negative judgment as such. Now, somebody who genuinely cares about you will pull you up on things. They will say, hmm, hang on, let's look at it from this way see where you're coming from but what about this so someone who genuinely cares about you will pull you up because they don't want you looking stupid and they might pull you up on something that doesn't necessarily need pulling apart however with a narcissistic individual what you will notice is if your thoughts and your opinions do not match theirs you are completely in the wrong you're stupid you're an idiot, you're not worth speaking to. You've turned against them as they play the victim. So it's not about being afraid to open up about your opinions, it's being afraid to have an opinion that does not match theirs. Just feeling drained, feeling tired, feeling exhausted, feeling worn out when you spend time with them. Life's pretty hectic. We can all feel drained, we can all feel worn out. However, you want to surround yourself with those who help you as you help them, and not those who continue to drain you. Just feeling like you want to escape, feeling like you want the ground to open up and swallow you whole because you're at an event with them and they're just saying things that they're going after your reputation there they're attacking you in some way that makes you feel humiliated, 
which is another one when you just feel belittled and humiliated and judged and criticised around them. So because you're feeling judged and belittled and humiliated and criticised around them, when you're at an occasion, you can just want to escape because they're making you feel so low and they are making you feel low. People can say nobody can make you feel. Well, yes, actually, people can make you feel things just like you can make people feel things, which is why you try not to. And if you accidentally do make someone feel something not so good about themselves and they come and speak to you, you want to be understanding and you don't want to do it again. With a narcissistic individual, tell them how you feel and you've just given them the ammunition to make you feel worse. They know what works to hurt you then. When you find yourself constantly second-guessing yourself, unsure of your thoughts and feelings, questioning why you said something and perhaps maybe you shouldn't have said that and now you've said it, they've kind of said that in a tone that seemed like they were mocking you but they weren't actually mocking you and now you feel humiliated when all you did was bring up an opinion that they didn't particularly like so now you're the one that's left feeling like you're in the wrong in some way so when you just feel like you can't be yourself and like you're constantly second guessing yourself around them and just having that sense of discomfort and uneasiness in their present presence. When you know you've got a family occasion coming up and they're going to be there and you're trying to think of ways to get out of it, ways to avoid them. And when you've got that unease and that dread and that discomfort, it ruins the occasion before it's even appeared. It's ruining your present moment about a future event. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but you have to kind of stop yourself, recognise the thought that's coming in and stop yourself and think, no, start thinking of how you would like this event to go. Start thinking of how you would like the interactions to go. Start using the narcissist insults like waters off a duck's back. Just no longer interested. I've recognised your games, no longer playing them. You crack on and if you want to crack on with them, go right ahead because you're feeling how I feel around them and you're laughing along jovial with them to try and stay on their good side so that you don't have to feel terrible around them. Leave people to it. So start thinking of how you want the interactions to go. If you're at a big family event and there's that person there that you're going to feel uneasy around, feel free to avoid them. However, know full well that when you do start avoiding them, they're going to play the victim because they're going to have no clue as to what they've done to offend you. So they will play the victim. Oh, how come they're not talking to me? They seem to be ignoring me. doesn't matter what other people think. You know why. You know your intentions. The narcissist knows why, even if they don't want to admit to it. What they want is the attention. What they want is your explanation. They don't like being ignored. They might go all out to try and humiliate you some more, but then they're the one that stood there gossiping about you, talking about you, while you're busy having fun. So leave them to it. Focus on how you want the event to go. Focus on speaking to the co-workers who you get on with. If you live with a narcissist, start to look for a way out of that situation. You can't just sit there and sort of think, right, I want to move out and I want a new home and I want four bedrooms and I want this and it's just going to appear if you vision it for long enough. You've got to create an action plan. You've got to decide what you want and then you've got to create an action plan that's going to get you to that point. And it does take time and a lot of time in life, what we need is just patience, which can be very hard to come by, especially when you're living with a narcissist. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the description, into the description, into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact. 
and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor link is in the video description. I do also have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. I do have several books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go and contact a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. They will also be in the description if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create a day. You go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.